opposite direction. The very policies that we implemented in this country in the name of helping black Americans have actually been disastrous for black Americans and all Americans. And I think so that that's something that we need to wake up to. In 1865, you were talking about the black codes, right? That's right. Passed, enacted to make it a crime for a black person to carry a gun exactly. in the South. But you're equating that to the current president? You're referring to economic chains? What are you saying? Well, I, I was referring to Joe Biden's, I think, ill-chosen expression to say they're the party that wants to put you back into chains. What I'm actually saying is that if you look at the policies you of the modern Democratic that about Party. Democrats. Absolutely. So what I'm saying is that actually it's policies like that of Lyndon Johnson and Joe Biden that are actually holding black Lyndon Americans Johnson's back. Lyndon Johnson's the war on poverty? Yes, and in particular, his great society where he actually created incentives in the family where if you're a family, you could actually get more money by not having the father in the home. What, Guess what you get? Of, you get what you pay for. Of, what, I think it's been really bad for the black community. I think it's really bad for all Americans. What, do you have anything on this before I move on I, to I China? Just, I don't see what one has to do with the other, but go on. I took up a lot of time with Fox. Oh, no, it's fine. We have time. I, I, don't, I don't really see what one has to do with the other, especially consider and using the Civil War to talk about black Americans. That war was not fought for black people to have guns. That's, that's, that's not... That war was fought for black people to have freedoms in this country. Yeah. Actually, that's why the Civil War was fought. Okay. And the sad but that part wasn't about fought it, for, for black people to have guns, I think. Actually, you know, a no funny fact is black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their Second Amendment rights were secured. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's but, one of the lessons that we learned. black people still learn. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree well with you country. on that, Don. Okay. I disagree with you. I think okay. you're doing a disservice well, to our country. Okay. By failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have the quality black before the law. skin, then you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned in here that I we disagree. have three I, different shades Don, of melanin. I think melanin we have to be able here. to talk about these issues in the open, regardless of the color of our skin. Black Americans today, to say that, compare that to 1865 and 1964, absolutely have equal rights in this country. I think to you to compare it to 1865 and I think it's insulting to black people. It's insulting to me as an African American. I don't want to sit here and argue with you, because it's infuriating for you to put, that, to put those things together. It's not right. Your telling of history is wrong. Your, what, what, you're what part thinking, of the history was wrong? What, 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 what part of the history, history was wrong? That the Civil War was fought. You're making people think that the Civil War was fought for black people, only for black people to get guns and for black people to the have The Civil War was fought for rights. black people in this country to get freedoms, a noble mission. And I think that it, even yes, after, right. even after we succeeded, to, to we had to actually secure those freedoms. It, to reduce it in a speech at the NRA to say you're making people think are you trying to say that black people, uh, to get guns, that was, that, that was the reason that you're there at the NRA? That was the reason for, uh, for the Civil War? It I is a that's fact. that's reductive. It's not and reductive, I think it's Don. insulting. There are a whole plethora of reasons that I, for look, the Civil with War. With due respect, I find, I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to black Americans, to say that black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. And the Second Amendment was black part of the security Hang on, please. Freedom. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. So uh, hang on one second. So to say that, that black people, say, say what you said again. Black people secured their freedoms after the Civil War. It is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. Only after their Second black Amendment rights had, were secured. They were not secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not, you're, you are discounting uh, uh, Reconstruction. You're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War, and, and that things turned around. People were, tried to change the freedoms that were supposed to happen. And you know how they the got it? They got their Second Amendment rights, and they actually got, the NRA played a big role in that. But today, down the final... The NRA did the, not play a big role they trained black Americans how to use firearms. That's a lie. That's not. The NRA did not play a big role. This is just historical fact. But not historical fact. The part that I find because you say it's historical fact. The part that I find insulting is when you say today black Americans don't have those rights after we have gone through civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the the way I live, the skin I live in every day. Here's where you and I have the freedom that black and white that black people don't have in this country and that black people do have. Well, here's where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man, but you're me regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're That's sitting what I think here, we whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm, what it's like to be black Whatever America. ethnicity I'm, I'm I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this debate. On the debate, content of the ideas. Do it, you should do it in an honest way and in a I fair think, way. And what you're doing is not in an honest and fair way. Okay? We appreciate you coming on. With due respect, Don, I look forward to continuing that conversation. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.